Hello everyone, my name is Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a simple 5M server in literally just a couple of minutes with the HT Network Auto Installer. All you guys need to do, come on over to the htnetwork.one website, which is down in the description below. Just click that link, it'll bring you right here. Go on over to the packages page and then come on over to the menu packages, view packages, and just grab yourself the V menu prime essentials package right here, which is the cheapest one and the most simplest, but it's a great place to start setting up your 5M server and it makes it 10 times easier. All you guys need to do, add to cart, check out, and you'll get instant download link. Once you guys have downloaded it, open it on up, and you will have a zip that looks something like this. Inside of the guides folder, it's going to be all the video guides we include, which shows you it step by step, just in case you're a little bit confused. And then if we take a look here, this is going to be our framework folder. And right here is the actual main piece itself, the HD Network Prime Essentials EXE. We're going to double click that. And we're going to download the exe and set it on up it's going to set it up automatically for us so hit next next again and let it automatically install once it's installed all you guys need to do is hit finish and then from here the next step is going to be double clicking the 5m download url here and it'll take you straight to the 5m server files I'm just going to download the latest version right here open it on up and then we can close our browser on down from here we're going to right click on the desktop make a new folder Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it 5M server. Open that folder on up again and make a new folder in here. And we're going to call this one server files. And inside of this folder is where we're going to put all of these files and folders we just downloaded. Drag and drop them in, wait for them to copy across, and you can close that zip on down, keeping the HD network package zip still open. From here, all you need to do, scroll on down, find the fx server.exe, which is right here. It's the red icon. Double click that, it's going to start up automatically. Just make sure you allow it on your Windows PC and it should boot up with our TX admin admin console page. Give it a couple of seconds here and there you guys go. It's going to ask you to link it to your cfx.re account. So just hit link account and it should automatically log you into your cfx.re account. Hit continue and from here we're going to select our password. Just call your password whatever you want as long as you guys will remember it. It's pretty useful to know your password. Hit I have read and agree, and then just click register. From here, all you guys need to do is go on over to the setup page and then hit next. Call your 5M server again, whatever you want. I'm just going to call it HD Network Prime E for Prime Essentials. Hit next again, popular recipes, CFX default 5M. Don't mess with any of this. Hit save and go to recipe deployer. Hit next and grab yourself a key from Keymaster. So click the Keymaster hyperlink right here. It's going to take you to the Keymaster website. Verify that you're human. And all you need to do, sign in to cfx.re Keymaster website with your CFX account. Hit new server. Call your key wherever you guys want. Again, I'm just going to do HDN Prime E. It doesn't actually have to match. It's just nice to know so you guys can have a little bit of coordination. Then for your initial server IP address, if you guys do not know your IPv4 address, Go on to Google, I'll leave the link down in the description below, and just Google what's my IP. And then you guys can click one of the first links here, what's my IP address.com. And you can just copy and paste your IPv4 address just like this. Go back to Keymaster, paste in the address, select server type, other and home hosted, and then just put home for what server provider are you using. I'm not a robot, and generate yourself a key. From here, all you need to do is just copy the key, click copy, go back on over to TX admin and paste it in. And now we should be good to hit run recipe. Give it a couple of seconds here and just like that, we are done. We now have a very, very minimal and basic 5M server set up. Now all we need to do is run the HD Network Auto Installer, which is super simple. So all we need to do, minimize to our desktop, we can close our 5M server folder on down and we'll close our 5M server itself for now. And all we're going to do is grab this HD Network install package folder and drag and drop it onto our desktop like so. Once it's on a desktop, we're going to double click the HD Network application to start it on up. And then it's going to ask us for a product key. The product key you can receive on your download link email. Paste it in, hit verify. It's going to tell you verification success and just to restart the program. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start the program back up again. And this time it's going to load in with our application. It's going to ask us to select our 5M server folder. So mine, as you guys know, is on my desktop called 5M server. Select it, hit select folder in the right corner right here. And there you guys go, we've brought up the application. Now all we need to do, click the base setup button, go to desktop and select that HD network install package we just put on our desktop and click select folder. It's now going to start copying across, setting all the permissions, doing everything automatically for us. 
in literally a couple of seconds, it's already complete. And all we need to do to install all of our nice, beautiful, simple mods, scroll on down to the bonus section and hit install all. It's now going to install all of these awesome mods automatically for us in literally just one click. It's super simple and easy. And there you guys go. Once it's done, it's just going to bring you back to the main screen. We can hit back and we can actually close the application on down now. We're already done. We can actually boot up our server with all of our mods. And it's that simple with HG Network. Right now, if you go on the website at the time of watching this video, there is 21% off. It's usually discount codes change. There's usually one or two running at the time. But make sure you guys do make the most of the current discount because it's probably the highest it's going to be in a long, long time. All you need to do now is start our server on up, double click the start default.bat. And just like that, we've installed all the mods automatically and we are ready to go. So we'll start our 5M application on up with our server running. And all we need to do is look underneath the play button here if we give it a couple of seconds. And you should see the connect to the name of your PC on LAN. If you don't, don't worry. Sometimes it bugs out a little bit. All you need to do is press F8 and type connect local host. And that will also connect you to your server. Just like that. We are done. And we've got a custom loading screen already. So we're already off to a great start. And this custom loading screen is also fully customizable as well in the index.html. Give it a couple of seconds here and we'll load it into the server. And there you guys go. Once you load it into the server, we can already see we've got some location displays, priority cooldown. We've got an emote menu. We've literally got everything. We've got a clothing menu as well. Where we can get some clothes. Obviously, we've got our postal map, which is a necessity. This is the perfect way. If you guys don't want a fully modded server, but you want an awesome way to kickstart your 5M server and give you guys that bit of a boost, so you guys can still get used to developing instead of having everything set up for you. Super simple, super easy, and only with HDNetwork.1. You can get it right now, 21% off at the time of watching this video, down in the link below. Other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers, and goodbye.